Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new in today's video. I have a little bit of everything for you. A shopping haul, cleaning, decorating, and some fun treat recipes that I made for our spooky movie night that I can't wait to share with you. So relax and stick around to see all of the goodies that I have in store for you. light is always in my way when I'm in the kitchen, but I've got a pretty big shopping haul that I want to share with you today. And then we will get on to cooking and cleaning and our fun movie night. So my husband and I are going camping over the weekend and the boys are staying with their grandparents. So I thought we would make some fun Halloween snacks and watch a Halloween movie tonight. Um, and then I got a few things for camping as well, I got some chips for camping, a little thing of cheddar popcorn. There's still things that I forgot I'm gonna have to order. Got some graham crackers, ranch seasoning. I accidentally got the dip mix last time. Got some diced onions, so that way I don't have to cut them up while we're camping. Some sherbet for a fun treat. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the freezer. get everything out and get it put away. Alright guys, my kitchen is a mess, but I want to show you the stuff I unpacked despite the sherbet that Buddy's, <laughs> Buddy's eating his food so you can hear him just chomping away. But I got some stuff to make, some drinks. Um, we have a bunch of hot dogs, but I needed one more pack. Um, we're going to make chili dogs. I didn't want to cut up the onion because we're going to be camping. So um, I'm going to make some pumpkin, uh, a pumpkin dessert. I can't think of what it's called. But I got that. I've got some fun drinks I'm going to make. So stick around. We are going to make some fun stuff that you can make for a party or just a fun night in. So these are all of my groceries that I got. And the other day I went to Walmart looking for a jack-o'-lantern wax warmer or this one. And they were out of all of them. And then when I went back today, they had one of these. So I have a fun new Wax warm. Oh goodness, they have green wax. I didn't really see any green wax uh, or think about it, so I just got um, vanilla and caramel spice and orange and cinnamon roll. But how cute is that? It is a cauldron. This is quite large too, but I thought it was fun. Um, got some spider web in case we want to get spooky later. Uh, some pumpkin peeps because they're cute. Food coloring for some creative snacks, along with this um, decorating gel. I've got the uh, Reese's Franken Cup that were green on the bottom. I thought those were cute. I thought about getting the ghost ones, but I was afraid they would look like big blobs. Oh, actually, I got these eyeballs to put on the ghost ones, and I didn't get the ghost ones. So I'll have to put the eyes on something else. And I got these cute little dish towels for 90 four cents at Walmart and you get two of them. A black one and this really pretty hound's tooth. So I got a couple of those. I love the hound's tooth. Um, I got another ghost mug. I don't need ghost mugs but um, adorable. Couldn't pass it up. Um, some pumpkin cups. A buddy. I got Buddy the Boston Terrier. This cute little skeleton costume. Little Bear will not wear anything. She hates it. She's a fluffy Pomeranian. She already has too much fur. Got some I got some spooky spiders, some Halloween socks, some orange lights for some ambiance. Just these cute little, and I got these at Tar, or I got 
all that at Target. These I got at the Dollar Tree. I got these at the Dollar Tree. And I got that at the Dollar Tree. What did I go to the Dollar Tree for? Oh, I got some eyeballs for a fun little project we're going to do, a little treat. Um, these were at the Dollar General. And I got some creepy cloth because you can always use creepy cloth. And for a dollar, you can't pass it up. So I got two white, two black. I got these cute little mice silhouettes. And my favorite, ghost peeps. So adorable. Got some little tea lights for my ghost. And some fun straws for our drinks we're going to make. And this ginormous thing of cheese balls. Halloween treat only. <laughs> I never buy these. I just think they're so bad, but here we are. We have cheese balls and I got a fun drink dispenser for Halloween for the drinks we're going to be making. So we're going to have a spooky drink and I'm going to put it in here and serve. So stick around. We got to get all this stuff cleaned up and put away. Look at my kitchen guys. Yikes. The sink is full of dishes. I gotta pick up the kids in about an hour and a half, so I've gotta get myself in gear. I've got the kitchen all cleaned up. Now I'm going to wash my new drink dispenser and my mug and get it ready for tonight. And I'm opening up my wax warmer first and getting it set up. And the inside has little creepy potion brewing in it. And I thought it was so adorable. I'm going to put it downstairs so that we can enjoy it tonight while we watch our movie. And I think it's just a perfect place for it. I need a good um, aromatherapy down there. So I put it on my credenza and I think it looks really cute here. And I'm going to put the orange and cinnamon roll wax in it and go ahead and get that going. And then I am going to add in a few of my new little decorations down here and get it extra spooky for movie night. So I want to just like some extra fun stuff. I am just draping these orange lights across to give it a really cool vibe. And then I'm going to open up some of my creepy cloth and add some of my uh, creepy little mice and make it look so adorable. So let me know what you think of how it turned out in the, com in the comments down below.
All right, after all that cleaning and decorating, I changed into something a little better for the next portion of this video where I'm gonna be creating some fun treats and I'm putting them on um, TikTok and Instagram. So if you are not following me there, I will have the links down below in the description box. Make sure you are following along. So let's get started with our first treat, which is a pumpkin fluff dip. I'm not a huge fan of pumpkin, but I wanted to try this pumpkin fluff. It looked really fun. It only needs a few little ingredients to get started. You'll need some pumpkin pie spice, some a can of pumpkin, the vanilla pudding, some whipped cream cheese, and some Cool Whip. So what I did is I added about a half a can of the pumpkin and about four ounces of the whipped cream cheese and an entire um, small packet of the vanilla pudding mix only. And then I added some pumpkin pie spice. I also added a little bit of cinnamon as well. And then I just kind of mixed it all together. And then I opened up the Cool Whip and added the entire container of Cool Whip and got it all mixed up for a really creamy, fluffy pumpkin pie fluffy dip. And it is so much fun and is so easy to make. And I use some graham crackers, apples, and vanilla wafers to go along with it. So it's so yummy to just dip those in the pumpkin fluff and enjoy. So if you are a fan of pumpkin, I would recommend checking this out. Um, if you don't like pumpkin so much, just put a little bit in and try it out and let me know what you think. Okay, so now that that is completed, I am going to actually make a big spooky charcuterie board and I am so excited for this. I just love making these fun boards and I thought this would be so adorable for movie night. So I'm going to add my other little tray to this board. Um, like I said, I was filming a TikTok as well, so that was going to be a separate little recipe. Um, I can't put all the recipes in one video. so. I'm adding my dip and all the graham crackers and cookies and apples to this tray. And look at that cute little ghost candy dish guy. Or I don't know if he's a candy dish or what he is, but I got him at Home Goods and he's absolutely adorable. I thought it would be so much fun to put this bag of popcorn in his mouth and kind of just have it spilling out into the board. I just love that idea. I thought it was so great so that is what i am doing here i just got that bag of popcorn at walmart it's like a little cheddar popcorn it was only a dollar i thought it would be perfect for this board and as you can see i'm adding some fresh fruit like grapes i've got the apples some fun candies i've got the halloween peanut m ms i think i just sniffed the oreo <laughs> um yeah i'm Ore or not the oreo but the reese cup they smell good i wanted to give it a little sniff and um, these are the fun green ones I added a few to the board my husband loves Reese cups and yeah I just thought this was so fun I got the um, veggie we love these little veggie chips and they have the ghost and bats versions which were absolutely adorable and so perfect for this board so I, this was the perfect treat 
for a movie night just so many different snacks you can just graze from oh and i peeled some of these cuties and stuck a little celery stalk inside them and they look like little pumpkins they were so much fun <music> All right, now that I've gotten the charcuterie board all done, it is getting dark out. I've got my spooky pajamas on, and I'm going to be making a fun, kid-friendly Halloween punch. And I'm just adding pineapple juice here. I actually should have got the big can of it. It would have been so much better, but I didn't. So if you're going to make this, I would suggest getting the big can of it. And then I am adding a bottle of ginger ale. Of course, if you want to make more, you can just get two big cans of pineapple juice and two bottles of ginger ale. And to make it extra spooky and green, I'm going to put in a little bit of food coloring to make it so much more fun. And then I am going to be adding the fun little creepy eyeballs inside and of course I washed the eyeballs off before I added them and there is quite a bit of punch in here you can't really tell because the whole bottom of it fills up with liquid as well but this is so much fun just serve them and I put a little bit of extra sherbet in the cups and added a little eyeball on top I forgot to film it for you guys but You'll be able to see it on TikTok. Look how creepy. It looks like a creepy potion. But now we are going to get ready for our fun movie night. And look at all the spooky vibes down here. It smells like fall. And this turned out to be so much fun. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you are not subscribed already, I would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss out on any more fun videos like this. I hope you got some inspiration from the decor and the fun Halloween treats I made in this video. Again, make sure you are subscribed and leave a comment to show your support. I have so many more videos planned for you, so hit that bell notification so you don't miss an upload, and I will see you in my next one. Stay spooky, friends. Bye! Bye.